A gang of cyber criminals stole $45 million in mere hours by hacking their way into a database of prepaid debit cards and completely draining cash machines. Brooklyn U.S. Attorney Loretta Lynch called it, quote, a massive 21st century bank heist and compared it to the Lufthansa heist of the late 1970s, immortalized in the film Goodfellas. In Manhattan, members of the New York cell withdrew $2.8 million in cash in less than one day using old hotel swipe keys and expired credit cards. Seven U.S. citizens in their 20s and originally from the Dominican Republic were arrested and charged with conspiracy and money laundering. More investigations are ongoing and other arrests have been made in other countries. Now, now people are facing some real prison time, right? That, are they? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I mean, like 10 years in prison, something like that? I mean, that almost seems nominal compared to the crime. Uh, 10 years is a long time. In millions of dollars. Yeah. You get, you get, I mean, it's not like somebody died. Right. Anyway, I'm, I'm not dismissing the crime. I'm just saying there's real time. There's real time at stake here. Um, what can we do to prevent? My question is, what can we do to prevent stuff like right. this? Right. And I think this is the, always the conversation that happens around cybersecurity, where you know, very often the conversation can go way too far in one direction, where all of a sudden we all feel like every email that we're sending is being watched. But then there's also this question about data and how you safely mine and secure data. No, it, it, that's a, that's a real question, and that's why so many of us are still still spooked out to do certain kinds of uh, exchanges, certain whether it's investing, whether it's uh, banking. We don't want to do it on the internet because there's so there's so many instances where this kind of stuff happens. I, it'll be interesting to see. As far as the prison time goes, I think what you'll more likely see is people exchange reduced sentences for teaching flipping on each other, flipping on each other, and teaching the government how to do this stuff.